This expression for the Fourier transform applies to continuous time. Since we've discretized time in order to solve Maxwell's equations using our computer, if we want to compute the Fourier transform of our source, we need to use the discrete uh, Fourier transform. To convert this expression to a discrete Fourier transform, we need to change the integral to a discrete summation. And instead of summing from minus infinity to infinity, we only need to sum over the time steps of our simulation. So we can start n equal to 1, and we can end at n, sum up to n max. And lastly, we need to write the continuous time in discrete form. So here, t would be n, the number of time steps, times dt, the time step increment. You can check this by making sure the units work out. n time steps times dt, which is the seconds, the number of seconds per time step. And so we're going to get t seconds. Now we have f omega sum from n equal 1 to n max f, and now instead of t, I'm going to put n, and it's the value of our time waveform occurring at n times delta t seconds, but we're going to sample it at the nth index. And then we have e to the minus j omega n times delta t. Now, to make it easy to calculate the magnitude and the phase at any frequency of interest, it helps to use Euler's identity to decompose this DFT expression into two, two terms. We want to get the real component and the imaginary component. Using Euler's identity, we can rewrite this exponential as cosine minus omega n delta t plus j sine minus omega n delta t. And since cosine minus omega n delta t, it's symmetric around 0, so we can write this as cosine omega n delta t. And here, this is equal to minus sine omega n delta t. And so all in all, putting all this together, we can write this as being equivalent to cosine omega n delta t minus j sine omega n delta t. Putting this into the discrete Fourier transform, I'm going to write this out as our two components. So we're going to get two summations, n equal 1 to n max. Of course, we could just combine them if we wanted to. This is f of n times cosine omega n delta t and minus j. And here's another summation, n equals 1 to n max, f of n sine omega n delta t. So you can see this is the real component, and this is the imaginary component. This equation should be repeated for each frequency of interest, where this omega here is 2 pi f. So as you change the frequency, you just change your f in this equation. Here it is written again. Since this expression involves a summation over all time steps, there are two options for us to perform this DFT on the source time waveform. We can either write a standalone, so a separate DFT code. So this would be separate from the Maxwell's equations model we've been building. Or two, we can incorporate it into the Maxwell's equations mold code and specifically that would go directly into the time step st time stepping loop
This is called an on-the-fly DFT. The benefit of the second option is that we can easily calculate the DFT of the source waveform as well as any other electric or magnetic fields from our simulation. So we're not limited to only taking the DFT of the source. However, the drawback of this second option is that we have to run the entire FTTD code every time we want to perform the discrete Fourier transform. Here, since we're only at the moment interested in calculating the DFT of the source, let's just write a separate DFT code. So we're going to go with this option where we have a separate code from our Maxwell's equations simulation. Now don't worry, later on in today's lecture we're going to continue building the one-dimensional Maxwell's equations model that you've been working on. So save that file and put it aside for the moment. Considering this expression here for the DFT that we want to implement, write Take a few minutes and write a brief outline for a standalone code, so using option one, so that you can create a code to find the spectrum of the source time waveform that we want to use. Fill in as much detail as you can for the first section of the code that you come up with. 